Welcome back to the reality, guys. I'm your host, Billy Blinks, joined as always by my co-host, Brian. Hi, everybody. We are back to talk the traders. This is the UK edition. This is series two. Um, we are uh, watching here over in the US. Uh, this is our first season covering UK for the channel. Uh, check out our playlist. So we did cover season one of the US traders. Uh, we'll be covering season two of US traders starting next week as well. So if you're subscribed, you'll have all of our coverage of both iterations, at least UK and US to start. Maybe eventually we'll do Australia as well when it swings back around. Um, Brian episodes one two and three dropped on bbc one it did say it's supposed to be wednesday through friday each week so hopefully um we will get one episode as we can kind of throw them out there for everyone but we will be going chronologically here episodes one through three uh before we go and start the breakdown uh how do you feel overall about the first three episodes um, i enjoyed it um i actually did do a binge of the first season in like a pretty crazy amount of time. I don't know. Like, don't, don't even ask me what I did. It was kind of, I didn't really sleep, but I'm glad I watched it because it's good. I like, it's so much different than the U S version, especially with just having normal people. And I think that, that you can kind of get a gauge of like why people act the way they do. And I'm interested to see how some of these um, people developed. And I, I, when we get, I'm not, I don't want to spoil anything, but when we get to these points, there's a couple of things like I, I wish didn't happen or people didn't go home because I'd like to see them. And I, it, that's the one thing that kind of stinks about like just losing people so quickly. Yeah. Uh, I, I would say, and we'll go in and we'll start here in episode one, but your overall iteration, there were some eliminations here that frankly were logical. It makes sense. I think from the trader's standpoint, maybe not so much the, the voting and we did leave ourselves on a cliffhanger on a vote as well. So we don't really know where that's going to land, but um Starting off episode one, Brian, 22 players. Uh, like you said, all regular individuals, no celebrities here. Uh, we will find out later on that we do have a family connection, uh, you know, a la like a Siri and Jared, like we just had on Big Brother. Um, felt, felt very kind of familiar. Dude, they did that on season one, too. Oh, okay. So there was I a boyfriend girlfriend one. situation. Okay. So, like, okay. somebody so came different. in. So, like, I'm actually I'm glad I watched it because it's like, <laughs> well, by the way that was one that i should have taken a tiktok there's an episode of that it is insane them like the reveal of them being together and like it's just like an all t all-time meltdown of a person oh okay cool all right i'll just i'll, I'm definitely gonna get into episode it. four um they start with the lining up least likely to win most likely to win which mm -hmm. i guess they did last season as well right Brian, yeah. but this was a fake so, out the, yeah well they, the thing about last season is, is the the two lowest people who thought they wouldn't win they just eliminated off the bat okay and then uh, they brought them back later like as like a reveal thing you know when they do that challenge where like people wearing a mask yeah, 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 yeah. and they, they came back then but like when i was watching i was like oh shit they got rid of two people right <laughs> off the bat like that's kind of sucks it's so i like i actually like that i like this call back to season one and she's like now nah, we're just going inside like messing with them because they know what's going to happen here i thought that was i, 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 I like that kind of head nod to kind of people being meta and we yeah. always kind of talk about people's kind of lack of awareness of not watching old seasons of shows so it was nice to see that some people mm -hmm. were familiar at least with the last season uh, rules um we are going to quickly get to the three traders uh we do find out right away too that they're going to get a fourth trader off the bat was that the same as last year as well no season one of uk was very similar to like how they season one of us where they brought someone in later okay type of thing but this, this was totally different which I'm, i like that they're kind of changing things i I, too. I like that they're really going to test things out because i think the show is going to stick around like Oh, no, no. It's a long standing yeah. franchise yeah. for sure. Um, the first three traders that we get, we have Paul, 36, the business manager, very highly liked by everyone throughout the first series of episodes. I think he's probably playing. At least I thought until the the end there of the last episodes we'll get to, I think was playing the best game so far. Yeah, he reminds me of um, uh, Dick. Um, what's his name? Little Dickie's manager in the show. Oh, my God, I think yeah. it looks like him a little bit. Um, I like him. I like him. Ash, the uh, female, 45. She Benjamin. was the events coordinator. Yep. And then uh, kind of, I guess, the criticism of her is she was maybe maybe a little overactive mm -hmm. in these mm -hmm. episodes. We'll get to that. Um, then Harry, 23, the youngest. Uh, he is the guy who is the army engineer. Um, a little talkative, but I think so far um, 
held held. I think he's done a pretty good job. As he, he honestly, I was worried about him too. He actually surprised me that he how well like he kind of did in the situations that like he'd make a comment. I was like, oh, he's really like deflecting away from him, even though it wasn't like thrown at him at the round table. Uh, the first episode, we get a challenge. It's 40 minutes to arrange a bunch of crates floating out in the water um, into a symbol. You get one time to turn it in. Different iterations, people out floating out to do the organizing. Some people out on the canoes to go kind of grab the boxes. Uh, they do mention the shields coming into play in these elimination challenges and money challenges. Uh, 15,000 pounds up for grabs on this one. Uh, if you grab a shield, you are immune from a murder, um, but you are not immune from the eviction. Yeah, the round table. The, yeah, the eviction round table votes. Uh, thoughts on that first challenge? I mean, it's fine. Um, the, the thing I'm most like interested in is like they're really the shields didn't really come into effect until like mid season um, last season, and I'm, I'm surprised they're going to just kind of have these things. I guess it can kind of show like. It kind of shows if you're going for a shield, then you kind of aren't really a traitor. So I wonder if that's like, I wonder how that will go as the season goes. If people will use that as an example of like, hey, I'm not a traitor because I went for the shield, but like traitors could act like, you know what I mean? Like maybe. Yeah, no, I think so for sure. I think that the shields are there for the social dynamic, for it to arouse suspicion, to try to have trends for people to lead false sight. But we heard that we heard um, Harry say, yeah, Harry say right in the, um, Harry and Paul were talking about like, hey, like every challenge we got to go for the shields. We need to basically counteract what your people are thinking and like make them yeah. think that like we are trying to yeah. stay safe. Um, and it takes away shields from other people and they can get rid of whoever they want. Exactly. Um, there was really no sabotage in this first challenge. Usually not a ton of that early. We, everyone tries to kind of go, you know, kind of incognito. Uh, the first episode, though, does end with a tease of who will the fourth trader be Mm -hmm. um so we roll into episode two we find out right away that the fourth trader is miles he is the 36 year old veterinary nurse um pretty he's a seems like a good physical threat bigger guy um very soft-spoken i think he especially in episode two has done a does a good job and in three does a good job of kind of genuinely blending in with the group yeah uh, how do you feel about the choice of him and how he kind of did the first few episodes being a traitor? Yeah, I'm fine with it because it looks like he hasn't really had any attention on him based on the first three episodes. So I mean, it's hard to say now, like, is it in a great pick? But I think like for what we've seen and what they went through, I think it was it was a smart move. With the reveal of the fourth traitor comes with the, also the reveal of the first uh, eliminated player. Um, and it was Aubrey, which I was bummed about. I know too, I'm sure, sure you were, Brian. I, th- I think too. you were kind of teasing, and I was assuming you were talking about Aubrey. Yeah, I'm I just love that he was like, I've, I already had suspicions. He just had was the look, everything. But yeah. again, these shows, you got to be quiet early on. I think we figured that out based off of how the next couple episodes go. Yeah, because he had so much personality. Even like when you first saw him, he's like, yeah, I'm going to say whatever I want. I'm a retired shop owner. I'm dre- He's dressed like kind of like swag. He has vibes. I was he looks like, like he's in Clue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he, Or just like, yeah, he, I, I was definitely bummed that he didn't make it like for the day. He's wearing like I a smoking jacket. To, yeah, I would have liked to see some confessionals from him and like him interact at a round table with like his opinions because I was honestly surprised at some of the opinions of the people. Like some people were really like having some really strong opinions right off the get go. Usually it's not like that insane, but yeah. And that comes into play, I think with further eliminations here. So um, they said they wanted to send a message by eliminating him. And I think they did. I was just fine. Uh, Mission two was going to be split nine people outside on the castle grounds, the rest inside the castle. The caveat where they did the split was that only the people on the outside would have a chance to get shields. Um, Not crazy amount of debate there. There's a little bit of back and forth. Uh, The people on the inside, basically, this is about bird calls. People on the inside need to find, you know, relay the matching bird calls out to the people outside who have to run out to bird nests and get the birds, come back, match the bird. You match the bird, you get the money. There's also like the shield bird where if they want to go out of their way or go and happen to get one that's a shield one, then they their team, that group will have 
you know, mm. shields. It, it, pretty straightforward kind of matching this communication well. I, I liked it overall. I thought it was a decent iteration, different from the first one. What about you? I actually really like this challenge. I thought it was unique. Like uh, you're mimicking animals over a mic to people and they i, I kind of like this like they did similar to what like the gongs last year when they're playing the music like i like that these things like you know what you kind of have to know what it is and then you got to go find it and i think i don't know i thought it was cool like i'm i like birds i think that i thought it was just like a cool um Your bird kid, unique. Better than I, thought, kid. I thought the uniqueness was cool is what I, like you hadn't seen something like that before no i liked it i, 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 I liked it I like the dynamic that we see um, like this, it reminds me of challenges you'd get on like um, claim the fame. Like they do. Yeah, it's just different. Of, and I, I enjoy that. Like telephone line in a, yeah. in a, in a way. Yeah, with animal sounds. With animal noises. Bird, yeah. bird calls. And they're like carrying these like huge statues. Like that one was like a huge bird that like I don't remember what it's called. But they it's had like that later on movie. with the yeah. uh, in the next episode with the scarecrows. And yeah. it's, it's yeah. very funny. They make yeah. them carry heavy things. It's props. Very He's funny. huge props. Um, the results were that they uh, made 4,000 pounds, uh, which gets them up to 19K. And they had, did have one group, the red team, which was Andrew Paul and Anthony, uh, mm-hmm. finding the shields and admitting it. Uh, I think early on, it's OK to admit that you have the shields, but I think you have to play it with not being a creep socially. I don't know, frankly, if I would be going for shields early on, um, but yeah, I, yeah, I, I think you got to go money. In the beginning, it's and that a- was kind of a discourse, like with some of the people early. I thought, like when they were calling each other out, like, "Why are you going for shields over money?" And then, like, but I mean, again, this is, I guess, what they wanted to create, like these these um, seeds of doubt in people to like create drama. Yeah. So, talking about the roundtable and the kind of the calling out going into the next um, kind of uh, what are they? Not, they don't call it the eviction. They call it banishment. They call it yeah, the banishment. Ban- ban- yeah. mm-hmm. So um, we talk about Anthony who had a shield. Uh, he gets called out by Diane. Uh, Diane saying like you have been suspicious, and then you going from you say going for the shield. You're being very selfish. Um, he starts to get defensive uh, because we know obviously that he is a not a traitor. And He's so faithful. It's, I always like watching people who know they're faithful have to be like on their heels though. And be like, you got, because you know, in their head, they want to basically say, no, you're really dumb. You're just wrong. Yeah. And especially this early because people will just follow the trend. Like, you know what I mean? Like this early and they just don't want to be eliminated this early in the show. So they'll just jump on any suspicion of a person. So yeah, I, I, yeah, she just, she, she went in, she went in. Andrew's name comes up from Kira. So another person who has a shield being called out by Kira. Um, Zach is the guy with glasses. He's bald. Um, he mm-hmm. gets called out. Um, he argues with Kira as well. Yeah. Uh, a few people make comments about him, and that's not the last time we get comments about him in these first three episodes. Um, but then uh, um, Sonia is also brought up. Which, so there's like a lot going on. All of a sudden, though, the Sonia stuff, I, I thought at first, I'm like, Okay, well, now they're bringing up Sonya. That Sonya stuff snowballed fast. Oh, yeah, dude. I just thought it was, like, so minor. Like, it was such a minor thing. That's what I mean. Just in the beginning, people just latch on to anything to not be eliminated. Like, so what was their, what would, she, what was their. She like, made, like, a comment of, like, oh, remember what we talked about in Secret or something like that? And it's just, like, I think she was just being overly friendly and making, trying to make jokes because, like, obviously these people don't know each other. But. Yeah, it's, I mean, this is what it is. That's what happens. It, um, she's just a victim. This is an early sacrificial order. lamb thing. I don't think most of these people really genuinely believed that she was a traitor. I think they were just like, it's some better you than me. Um, yeah, exactly. Episode two does end with the elimination of Sonya. Um, I mean, real quick, real it. quick. One, one thing that I that, that kind of annoys me about the show is like when they're eliminating somebody, like, oh, I'm so sorry I had to put your name down. Like, I hope you're not a traitor. It's like, no, don't you apologize. Want, you want them to be a traitor. That's the thing. Like, they're like, we don't want, we, we want to be yeah, wrong. You do. It's like, that's not true. You want to get rid of the traitor so it helps you in the game. Like, they say that. Just remember it this season. They, because I just watched like, yeah, yeah, yeah. F and hours of it. I see it. They just, they do it so much. And it's, I don't agree with what they're saying. Like, you want to get rid of these people. Your logic you're, does not play. Yeah. Here. You're just trying to not look like a bad person. And I, I understand, but it's, but it's like it's talking a about survivor. It's, a, it's like a survivor. The game show for money. Game show for money. First time of the year. Count it. We're going to start counter for that. Actually, it's the first time this year we got that on. Um, but yeah, goodbye, Sonia. It's been nice. Hope you find your paradise. 
Mm-hmm. See you later. Yeah. Um. So that means we do go into episode three, uh, mm-hmm. our final episode of the first night. Again, it was nice to get three in a row, kind of really get our feet yeah. wet, which I do appreciate. How many episodes were last season? Like, uh, I think it's like 12. It's supposed to be like three, three. Yeah, it's supposed to be about the same this season. Yeah, I think it would probably be the same. We got our next um, deliberation by the uh, traders, and the next player eliminated the following morning is Kira. Again, another outspoken, strong, unifying player. Goes down. So again, I think the traders, frankly, are two for two on no, that this was a smart move. You need to pick on people who are like fighting with each other. I agree. Yeah. That was, I right, think that was the right move. The thing we get right after this, though, Brian, that makes this episode interesting is we do find out the family connection. Yeah. Uh, Ross <laughs> and Diane. Ross, uh, who before I basically only had down his white guy with glasses, has now become <laughs> interesting because his mom, Diane, who is the redheaded mom who has already gotten into some debates on the round tables, is now uh, yep. their central central storyline, people, man. Like, it, it, I, I'm, I'm into it. Uh, I It's funny that they semi get sussed out, actually. Zach kind of says you guys look alike. Yeah. I was like, what? What? <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, I guess like you said you saw the boyfriend girlfriend thing here. Um, uh, no, I'm not joking around. You need to, I'm gonna try to find you a clip of that, like a mod, like a clip segment. You need to watch that, it is insane. Just this dude, I'm sure I can get it on unraveling. TikTok. There was it wasn't like this, but it, maybe it hasn't happened yet. But man, there is some serious unraveling. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I do think it's an interesting dynamic. I, I think it's cool. And now it's like we know in US we're not going to probably get that this season because of the amount of celebrities that we have in the yeah. season. So um, I do like this. Yeah, I, I'm, the, I'm, in, I'm intrigued. Yeah, and the thing is, is when you become a trader, you're technically not allowed to tell anybody else you're a trader. So like they always say like, well, they'll be working together. Like, I don't know. I mean, if they watched last season, you would they, you just can't. They wouldn't put them together like that because I feel like that would kill the whole you can't put them both as traitors. That just would destroy the uh, me personally. The uh, spirit of the game, yeah, no, it yeah. would break the rules, frankly. But they, I mean, um, people will latch. Like I said they'll latch on anything. Like they're working together. We got to get them out, and it's <laughs> it is funny. Uh, the only other note I had pre-challenge was also that we should give a shout out to Tracy, the clairvoyant. What does that mean? She has one hand. Yeah, this, this, she's the psychic. Tracy, the lady who's like says she's like a psychic. She can like okay. read. She's doing the tarot cards. I don't know. She's like Professor Trelawney. I'm, I'm uh, into her being a good goofy character for a little while. Hopefully, she sticks around. Well, she made it further so far than I thought she was. Like I thought she was an easy sacrificial yeah. lamb character too. So yeah. this is this is great. It's like everyone knows she's not a traitor. Like they already know. I, if there's an episode where people think like she's somehow like this di- fake diabolical, I'm gonna I'm gonna die. It's just gonna be great. Don't count it out, man. I'm not counting her out. I just want to see how don't, other, don't other count people. out that that plot line happening. Oh, people convincing themselves. Yeah. Um, challenge three. You had to have three teams split out to look for uh, piles of gold uh, in the fields of gold. <laughs> uh, there's questions about other players based off the surveys. Uh, you had to pick the player. You had to like carry their scarecrow, which had a key to the next box without a question if the key was right you would unlock it you would get the money and mm-hmm. you kind of did this along a um a trail you know, standard questions who's the best who's the most annoying who do you think could be a, a trader blah 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 blah, yep. blah. nothing super scandalous but yep. again a fun game to watch them carry around the scarecrows mm-hmm. um they get 20 minutes three shields in the final uh area uh, we end up with them getting 8,000 pounds, getting them up to 27,000 total so far through three episodes. Zach and Jasmine do find shields in the final, like scarecrows. They also do acknowledge that they have the shields. So, no secrets going into there. Um, right before we do the roundtable stuff, and the roundtable really, frankly, is very wide spectrum. They mention everyone from Diane to Ash to Brian to Zach to Meg to Paul jazz anthony i mean they literally everybody i mean everybody is like i think this might be one of the best round tables yeah, dude i mean that, those seasons. are that's crazy amount of yeah, people like, the, like the, just the like the the way that it ended the way we got cliffhanger the way like you said like there's a lot of people on the table being chosen i i because I, I you didn't know i didn't know what was going to happen that's why i really enjoyed it so we go through it um there's a good amount of chatter about zach um 
Ash, then we mentioned earlier on being very overactive. Mm -hmm. People have seen her speak to every single person. They're saying you're asking people who you think it is and you just come off as nervous. So yeah. she's not playing it very well. Um, you have Brian, the classic like over talker. That guy melts down about 14 times. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like he might have been my favorite part of the round table. He just like comes back with like, so he like <laughs> It's the tiebreaker speech. No, but he said so. I thought he said something before that where he's like, well, hold on a second, who do you think is this? And I was just like, oh my God, that the people just buckle under the pressure, man. <laughs> yeah, um it, I like this. So this is how the, the votes go down. Cause I did I did again, I thought it was interesting the breakdown. Diane with four, Ash with four, Brian with four, Zach with three, Meg with one, Paul with one, Jazz with one, and Anthony with one. That Ash, Brian, and Diane is a three-way tie. They can only be voted for. They don't vote. Um, they get to kind of, like I said, they plead their case. The notable thing is just that Brian melts down. Yeah. Ash says that I'm just being faithful because I'm talking to everyone. And I'm getting to learn everybody's name and knowing who everyone is. Um, Diane, not much of a, like a, a, a case being made. Uh, what's interesting, though, is that um, Paul, a fellow trader, votes for ash it was harry or harry excuse me no votes. paul and they both vote for paul her. and harry excuse yeah. me vote yeah. for they're just based which i kind of love they're like yeah you're 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 blowing up our spot yeah, here you're, you you're not go. doing a good job i don't think she's gonna go home though i don't either i think no Brian's and i think that's home. gonna be better for them because honestly if they put those votes on her they won't suspect like you know what I mean? Later that they crazy. wanted her to go home. Yeah. But it will play out better because no one will suspect then. Now she'll be pissed. Now maybe she's going to try to like fight back against them. Yeah. Maybe she'll be a traitor who like aligns with people who aren't traitors that she doesn't tell them she's a traitor, but she wants to now get rid of where she's like, she basically can go kamikaze against them and be like, I, I know who one of the traders are you know like she could pull something like that you know like it, that yeah. would be very interesting to see if we get like a mexican standoff between traders i, I would really like that because having four does open up a lot more possibilities for like it to go wrong frankly yeah yeah i thought i was i was kind of surprised that they uh they did that but i don't know i, don't... I, I think brian's going though yeah i do think brian's gonna go too and it, say ash does go home I don't think like normally when they have three originally, they like if you lose somebody, they'll they can invite. I think they'll stay with three. three. I think they're gonna. I don't. I think they started with four and they just won't do that again. Like one of the things that do you think that players don't think is that there's four right now? No, I thought they know there's four. No, they don't know how many. They never told them how many. Oh, okay, okay, right. You're right. They just told them that they added a trader. So like. I think they would think of if anything was the same, it would two. be the, the amount. Be three. Right? Yeah, but I'm saying like later in the season, this is the most that we won't get anymore. It starts at four, and then I don't want to see. I agree. It, it can't I be agree. five at some point. Like the five total throughout the game. Like we can't go down to. Th- we say that we go down to three, go down to two. We can't get another one in. That's we, like ridiculous. I agree. I don't think we'll ever have five at once. I do think we will lose one or two before they add one. I, just, I, I think, don't want them to add anybody anymore. I think four, like, that's it. Yeah, I'm saying I think that's the only way we do. And the only way I think they would probably production wise would do that is to, like, say they lost a couple really fast, right? Yeah. It's like, oh, crap. If Ash goes, but I, I kind of. Yeah, yeah. Because, I mean, um, what's his face? Um, Miles voted for, his name's Miles or Mike? The fourth trader is Miles. Uh, Miles. Yeah, he voted for Brian, so. Who who's yeah. the vote? Who what vote are we waiting on? Are we waiting on Anthony's vote? Is that what we're waiting on? I did not write who the last I think it's vote. Anthony. I think. He only had one vote put on him. So there's, there's not really like a lot. It's not like he has a Yeah, because he him and Diane were going at each other. So I don't know who he's gonna go for here, but he's the chess player. So I wonder yeah, what he'll, he'll maybe he'll pick Brian. He might I feel like he's gonna pick Brian because he'll be like, yo, you're like too unhinged for my logic size, my logic brain. I like being on the cliffhanger, Brian. We said yeah, this I, I covered it was US. Really did. We don't I know. It. This is good. We we probably won't have an episode until Wednesday now, right? So like that's like good, and there's a lot of speculation. Mm-hmm. Uh, we will be back. We're going to cover this whole season, every episode, uh, depending on if they drop it nightly or in bunches. We'll cover it in however format they drop it. Uh, like we said, then make sure you're subscribed here, even if you're in the UK. 
um when you're gonna vpn over just like kind of how we watch our stuff um <laughs> you want to see us we're going to be covering us so we'll have every episode as it airs in their format um so we would love to see some people from across the pond getting our opinion on that um comment subscribe let us know and like i said we're also on tiktok cover a lot of shows on there review them uh we're going to be doing a lot of other shows like vanderpump rules survivor uh love island all stars we will be covering all the episodes as that airs um in the uk as well um farmer wants a wife season two love it hip-hop uh we have below deck um the bachelor so plenty of things coming here in the next few months um but for myself brian everyone here at the reality guys thank you so much for watching peace